Hello, in this video, I'll show you how you can perform a pair T test. In fact, a pair T test, sometimes called the dependent sample T test, is a statistical procedure used to determine whether the mean difference between two sets of observations is zero. In a pair sample T test, each subject or entity is measured twice resulting in pairs of observations. So here we're having the case of a dietitian, and you want to see if the two weeks diet offered to your patients is effective. You collect the following weights in the first visit and then after two weeks. So here you're having the patients and as you see, for each individual, we are taking the weight the first visit and then we are taking the way the second visit. And in order to see whether it's effective, it means they have to lose weight. So the weight will be less in the second visit than in the first visit. So before starting any statistical test, we have to specify alpha, the H0, and uh, the alternative hypothesis. So if you want to know more about the alternative hypothesis, the null hypothesis, and alpha, you can check the previously uploaded uh, video about t-test. So here at the end, in order to know the results and to interpret the results, we have to compare it to the p-value. So if p-value is less is greater than alpha, we do not reject H0. If p-value is less than alpha, we reject H0. And here graphically, we're having the t-distribution in white, the area here, it's the area of H0. And here in blue, it's the rejection zone. So if uh, t-test will fall somewhere here, okay, so we have to reject the null hypothesis. So we can now run the test. So we go to data, data analysis, and then t-test paired two sample of means. And we select, so we have to compare the mean for the first visit with the mean for the second visit. The hypothesized mean difference, as you can see here, because the null hypothesis states that the mean is equal, so there is no difference between the averages. Alpha at 0 0.05, and we selected the labels, and we want to specify the output range. Okay, so it's E4. It's important to mention here uh, that the data should not contain any outliers. Outliers are rare values that appear far away from the majority of the data. Outliers can bias the results and potentially lead to incorrect conclusions. So here we're having the weight, they are close to each other. If we're having like a weight of 20 kilos, so here we cannot use the pair T test. So now we're having the results, we're having the weight, the average weight the first visit and the average weight the second visit, 84.7 for uh, the first visit and 81.4. So there is a difference. However, we have to see if this difference is statistically significant. So we're having the number of observations, it's uh, 10 and 10, 10 for the first visit and 10 for the second visit. Uh, the correlation is 0 0.98, it means it's close to 1, it means it's positively correlated, high, cor uh, high uh, correlation we're having here. In future videos, we will see the correlation and also we will see the regression. So the degrees of freedom, it's n minus 1. If we want to use the table, we can uh, calculate it. However, here we can rely only on the p-value. So uh, the p-value that we got, and because it's uh, the average, it's greater, okay, so we're having this symbol of greater, so this is why we will use the one-tail test. So as you can see, the p-value here, okay, it's 8.6 uh, times 10 uh, uh, power minus 5, so it's less than 0 0.05. This is why we have to reject the null hypothesis. It means the average weight for the first time, it's greater than, than, than the one for the second visit. This is why we can say that the diet plan is effective. So as you can see how it's easy 
to run uh, the parity test. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see future videos. Thank you for watching.